Hello everyone. In this video, we will be exploring how to create a file upload progress bar in Vue. File uploading is a common feature in web applications, and users expect to be able to see the progress of their upload to ensure it is successfully completed. With Vue.js, we can easily create a smooth and responsive progress bar that updates in real time as the file is being uploaded. We will take a step-by-step -step approach to building this feature, starting with setting up the project and installing the necessary dependencies, and then gradually adding the code to handle the file upload and update the progress bar. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to implement a file upload progress bar in your view. JS Applications I will use Laravel and Vue just for this functionality implementation. Now I will create a Laravel project with up composer create Laravel up layout image progress bar. Next, I will set the video to the Laravel project. Okay, I have successfully set up the project. Now I will make the complete progress bar image upload feature. I will do the writing of templates and CSS for the application.
Okay, the template has been written. Next, I will handle the logic related to file upload. Files, an array to store the files that the user selects for uploading. Uploaded files, an array to store the files that have been successfully uploaded to the server. Show progress, a Boolean variable that is used to toggle the display of a progress bar during file uploads. The show progress variable can be used to show or hide a progress bar during file uploads. This code snippet defines an upload file method in a view. JS component that is triggered when a user selects a file for upload. It retrieves the selected file from the event object. If there is no file selected, it returns and exits the method. It creates a form datum object and appends the selected file to it with the key file. It generates a shortened file name to display in the UI. It adds the file to the files array in the component's data with a loading property set to zero to represent the upload progress. It sets the show progress property to true to display the progress bar in the UI. It sends a post request using the Axios library to upload the file to the server, passing in the form datum object as the payload. It sets the unupload progress option in the Axios request to a function that updates the loading property of the currently uploading file in the files array with the percentage of the file that has been uploaded. When the upload is complete when loaded equals total in the unupload progress function, it calculates the size of the uploaded file and adds it to the uploaded files array in the component's data. It clears the files array and sets show progress to false.
If there is an error during the upload, it logs the error to the console. This is a view. JS template code that defines a section with the class loading area that only renders if the show progress property in the component's data is true. The section renders a list of files that are currently being uploaded, using the V for directive to loop over the files array in the component's data. For each file, it displays its name, status which is set to uploading in this case, and the upload progress percentage. The file details are displayed in a row using the lie and div elements, with an icon I element and loading bar div class loading bar to give a visual representation of the upload progress. The style attribute on the loading element sets the width of the loading bar to the file loading percentage, which is updated by the onUpload progress function in the upload file method. This is a view. JS template code that defines a section with the class uploaded area. It renders a list of files that have been successfully uploaded and stored on the server, using the V for directive to loop over the uploaded files array in the component's data. For each uploaded file, it displays its name and size in a row using the lie and div elements. The icon element I class equals fast fill and I displays an image to identify the file type of each file. The size of each uploaded file is displayed using the file size property that was calculated in the upload file method. At the end of each row, there is a check icon element I class fast fa check I, indicating that the file has been successfully uploaded and stored on the server. I will create a Laravel controller to handle uploading images to the backend. The route is defined using the route post method, which is a static method provided by Laravel's route facade. The first argument is the URL that this route should handle, and the second argument is an array containing the controller method that should be called when this route is accessed. The controller method that should be called in response to this route is upload files, which belongs to the upload file controller class. In other words, when a user submits a post request to the upload files URL, the upload files method of the upload file controller class will be executed to handle the request. This method is responsible for uploading the files and processing the uploaded data as required by the application. This is a code for a method called upload files in the upload file controller class that is executed when a post request is sent to the slash upload files URL. This method is responsible for handling the file upload and processing the uploaded data. The method receives a request object as its parameter, which contains information about the uploaded file s. First, the method validates the uploaded file using the validate method of the request object. In this case, the validation rule requires that the uploaded file should be of type JPG, JPEG, PNG, PDF, HTML, or MFER. If the validation fails, an exception is thrown with a validation error message. If the validation succeeds, the method gets the uploaded file from the dollar request object using the file method and generates a unique file name by appending the current timestamp to the original file name using the get client original name method. The store as method is used to store the uploaded file with the generated file name in the uploads directory using the public disk. Finally, the method returns a JSON response with a success message and the generated file name, which can be used to identify the uploaded file later in the application.
OK, the file has been successfully uploaded to public. The progress bar will show longer when I upload a high size video. Looks very nice. OK, I finished the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.